If you're already on board with donating to effective charities, you might ask, why make a public pledge? Especially when commitments can be daunting and there's something a little uncomfortable about donating in public. We might think it's easier to remain uncommitted and anonymous. What is that? We can donate by anonymous. I'm not crazy about that. Now it looks like, it just looks like I did mine for the credit. As opposed to, you know, Mr. Wonderful Anonymous. G'day folks, welcome back to the Giving What We Can channel, where we look at how to maximize our charitable impact. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how you can do even more good than Mr. Wonderful Anonymous. But before we do, let's start with a principle I hope we can all agree on. Charity is about helping others. In principle, the focus of giving to charity should be on the beneficiaries of your charity and not on yourself. Beneficiaries are those that benefit from your charitable support. The benefits might be very direct and tangible, such as a family who is able to protect themselves from malaria because you supplied an insecticide treated bed net, or the benefits might be more indirect and dispersed, such as the entire society, which benefits from you funding research programs to help prevent future pandemics. At Giving What We Can, we think that it's really important we develop a culture of giving which focuses on what most helps the beneficiaries of charity. So if charity is about the beneficiaries, then the question becomes, what most benefits them? We think you can do even more good by taking a public pledge than you might do by donating on your own. From the beneficiary's perspective, a dollar is a dollar. It doesn't matter whether money is provided publicly or privately, and it doesn't matter whether the donor is an individual or a member of a community. What matters is the amount and effectiveness of the support. We find that public pledges increase both the amount and the effectiveness of the support for three main reasons, commitment, community, and inspiration. By taking a public pledge, you may be more likely to donate more and more consistently than you otherwise would. This is because it can work as a form of pre-commitment, a psychological strategy for sticking to goals we might otherwise be tempted to give up. According to Nobel Prize winning economist Thomas Schelling, if you make it costly for your future self to give up on your goals, you're more likely to achieve them. For example, you might be more likely to stick to your exercise regime if you sign up for a yearly gym membership rather than paying per use. There's increasing evidence that pre-committing helps us stick to our goals, and this includes charitable ones. In one study, it was found that pre-commitment led to a higher and more consistent amount of donations. And it's not just that you're likely to donate more, but it also takes away the constant burden of needing to decide each and every year whether and how much to donate. When you take a pledge, all you need to do is stand by your earlier commitment. It's just keeping a promise. And to help us keep our promises, we might want to be part of a community. Think back to the gym membership example from earlier. You'd be even more likely to show up regularly to use your yearly gym membership if you commit to doing it with a friend who will be waiting for you to show up at a specific, regular time and disappointed if you didn't show up. There's also evidence from psychology that being part of a community is a powerful way to change behaviour. We encourage each other and we are motivated, in part, by a desire not to disappoint. By incorporating effective giving into our personal and social identities, we are more likely to hold onto and live up to our values. Another advantage of being part of our community is gaining access to a range of people with different experiences and backgrounds, and who all share the desire to find the most effective ways to make the world a better place. By pooling our resources, we can accomplish difficult goals that we might have trouble achieving alone. Together we can give more and give more effectively, and in doing so, we might inspire others to do the same. Which brings us to the third reason we might decide to pledge. Humans are incredibly social animals. We do what we see others doing. Therefore, what we do matters, not just because of the direct outcomes, but also because of how it influences other people. We are active participants in creating social norms. Being quiet about our commitment to effectively helping others only results in a culture where people give less and give less effectively. This means that a lot less good is done in the world, and there's a lot more unnecessary suffering and less flourishing. However, if we're public about our significant commitments to help others effectively, then we can help shift the behavior of others. We can lead by example. Giving What We Can members have already donated more than $200 million to effective charities, and in doing so, have helped inspire others to consider giving effectively. Two examples of this are our co-founder, Toby Ord, and one of our founding members, Peter Singer. Singer is one of the world's most influential philosophers, and his work has done a tremendous amount of good by inspiring others. He was a founding figure of the effective altruism movement, 
and one of the first people to take the Giving What We Can pledge. In his TED talk, he told the story of Toby's commitment to helping others effectively. And this has led to hundreds of people taking the Giving What We Can pledge and millions of dollars going to effective charities. So Toby founded an organization called Giving What We Can to spread this information, to unite people who want to share some of their income and to ask people to pledge to give 10% of what they earn over their lifetime. And it's not just prominent public figures or people who get up on stages that influence others. We see examples all the time of people who are giving more and giving more effectively simply because one of their friends shared their commitment publicly. Furthermore, recent work in social psychology found that individuals are more likely to donate larger amounts to charity when they are aware that others are also doing so. This is why we think that taking a public pledge is likely to do more good than donating privately. By taking a public giving pledge, you could be an inspiration to others. Not only could you increase the total amount of charitable giving, but you encourage it to be directed towards the most effective charities, which could result in orders of magnitude more impact. Of course, commitment, community, and inspiration are just a few of the reasons that people join the Giving What We Can community. I recommend you also check out this playlist link below where members share why they pledge to give more and more effectively. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to know in the comments what you think, and if you've made a pledge, please share why. Until next time, keep on doing good.